Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to Sable. Today we are carrying on from where we left off in the last episode. We are in a new area here and we're at the center of Brunswick, a ship where hopefully we can find more parts for the security clearance on the whale. Right, this is probably going to be an absolute nightmare, but let's just jump straight in. Well, we can climb on this. We've got to keep our eyes open for... Um, chums, obviously. Ah, bugger it. Bugger, bugger, bugger. Okay, let's try that again. It moves, but it's moving sporadically. I can't quite put my finger on where it's going. Oh, some junk. I will take that. I climb on top of you? Yes. That's the easiest way over. Oh, ooh, ooh, he says, oh dear, I appear to have lost control. Oh no, now I'm stuck. Help. Help, 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 help. Oh no. Oh, I'm free. Oh my. Okay, note yourself. Don't do that again. I was like, oh, am I going to have to restart the episode already? I'm going to have to just like reload and be like, yeah. Nope. We free. We are free. How do we do this? I think this was the right idea. I just wasn't high enough. There we go. This door is apparently open. Ah. Well. Isn't this interesting? Okay, so we have... Tons of battery terminals, but what do they do? I can only see one battery. What is the goal here? What are these funky devices? What do they do? What does this big thing do? All right, let's just start plugging things in and see what happens. see that? No, I think I've worked it out. Oh, there's a chest up there. God damn it. I think we use this one ba this one battery here to set up the route. Real question is how do I get up there? Which I means I means I have to get up there, I guess. But how am I going to do that? Oh wait, no, I can go around there. So I start there, run over, jump to that, jump. Up to there? Oh, I don't know about this actually. That one seems like it's in the right place already. I'm going to leave that where it is. And then I guess this one is that thing moving. So if we leave that there. Thank you, Xbox. Every single time. I've dismissed that damn notification like five times now. Okay, we're going to do it this way first, just to get the item. I think that's how this is going to work, but then somehow I'm going to have to make it so this... Oh, can I actually... Oh, hello. What's going on here? I phased through the staircase, apparently. There we go. Actually going to work the way I want it to work? Yes, thank God for that. Then jump up here... I might have to make this one spin, so then we can then go over to the other side and get through the door, which I think is the overall goal here. But this... I want the money. I can climb onto the top of this one without the game going crazy, so I'm going to do that. Oh, bloody hell. Okay, note to self, don't aim on that bit. Don't land on that bit even, don't aim. Don't aim for that and land on that bit. Okay, so now, how are we going to do this? Is it as simple as what I think it is? 
hello. Hang on a minute. Hang on a minute. There's a big, there's a big old uh, roll of scrap down there. That's got to keep spinning. But hang on a minute. I require this giant box of scrap. Thank you. How else am I going to buy all the fancy clothes? Oh, look, there's another one down here. Even though we are now... This this spacesuit is just... That's the look, isn't it? We're just going to have a spacesuit for the rest of the game because I'm lazy. Nah, we might come across some really cool outfits. The uh, ninja outfit was... kind of cool. I might go back and get that at some point. Alright, so now I think I can jump up here. Jump over to here. And then from here, jump over to this, which should... Perfect. Easy. Oh. Open the door in the center of Brunswick. That one was positively simple compared to some of the other ones we've had to do. Time to find out the history of these, these terraformers, I guess. Terraformers, colonists, I don't really know what their goal was. Nefarious. I'm sure it's nefarious. It's always nefarious. If the human race is involved, I'm sure it can't be good. General, <laughs> general rule of thumb. I say hello to Saren. You have unread messages, Sable. Here are your unread messages. Uh, recording number five. I find myself tapping my foot in anticipation as I start up the workstation. At long-range communication, we are still being disrupted by the Perpetual. Officer Ellis wishes to return her attention to shielding the reactors from its interference. Permission? Granted, Saren. I want you to stick with the comms array and see if you can't squeeze something out without it being bounced back. Yes, Captain. Well, we might as well get the terraformers up and running, then, right? Deacon, if you don't shut up about the terraformers... He lets it hang in the air, but goes on before he can finish what I can only assume would be a very pointed threat. If you hadn't been running your mouth, we'd still be in orbit, negotiating a landing with this godforsaken planet. We can't even breathe the air out there, and... All the more reason to start terraforming now. What is your point, Captain? Deacon, listen to me. We can't. That landing was hell on those things. Their rad shielding is beyond repair right now. If we run these things, they will pump radiation into the atmosphere for a hundred years. That's Earth years, not an option for us, Deacon. Then maybe we don't do it for us. But according goes silent. No unread messages. Oh! I say farewell to Saren. Hey, did you upgrade my security clearance? Hmm. Um, so... They... Terraformed the planet, but it went wrong? Because they they hurt the terraformers? They, they damaged the terraformers? Hurt. That was the wrong word. Uh, they damaged the terraformers, so it was pumping radiation into the atmosphere? So are we the dis like the very far descendants of these crew? I didn't miss anything, did I? No one read messages. No, okay, goodbye. Well, okay, so our main goal now is to find the cartographer of this area. Because I'd like to see what other things are open in this area. It's a very interesting story. I feel like there wasn't there three ships that I hadn't found. There was three, like, keys I hadn't found. So I'm assuming... Ah, chum! Uh, those... This is one of them. Thank you for the egg! Well, I don't suppose we're going to mysteriously see a cartographer's balloon in the distance, are we? Nothing really sticks out. To me, oh. Okay, what's that? <laughs> Nothing sticks out apart from the whatever the hell that is over there. How did I do the? 
I don't use this enough, so I have absolutely no idea how it works. What is that? Remove that point. Okay, so that's where that point is. Where is my bike? <laughs> it was parked by the entrance. There it is. My bike boat. Let's go check out what that is. I don't know what it is. Maybe I'll see, I'll climb up to the top of it and the cartographer's balloon will be an easy sight from up there. I wish the bike riding music played more when you were just walking around and things. Because I find myself walking around more than riding the bike. Maybe that's just because I'm playing the game wrong. Wouldn't be the first time. We still need to go back to the Badlands and see what the uh, town is. In the Badlands. Never managed to climb up there. Okay, now I'm actually at this. I've realised it's massive, but a small part of me wants to climb it. Oh, it's called the Worm. The Worm. Can I climb the Worm? This is information that we need to know. Yes, I can. Can I climb enough to climb the worm? I'll admit, it's going to be a bit close. Uh-oh, SpaghettiOs. Climb up, Sable. Climb up, Sable. Climb up. Oh. Oh. Oh, my. I don't think there's actually a reason to climb this, but on the other hand, why would I need a reason to climb this? Look at how cool it looks. It could take a while, though. That's, that is a small problem I didn't really anticipate. Whoa, camera. Work with me. What is that? A bunch of birds over there? I swear I can hear music. Am I going mad? Am I? I'm climbing down right now, which is kind of... Not what I had in mind, but on the other hand... I want to see if I can interact with these birds. What, what are these things? Hi, guys. Oh. Cartographer's balloon. There's something over there. Is that the... That's the wreck of the bronze work, isn't it? God damn it. <laughs> Wait. No, that's the... That's the bronze work. What's over that way? There's something... Over there. We'll keep that in mind for the future. Oh. You know what, guys? I think I found the cartographer's balloon. Something tells me it's that over there. Very bloody far away, though. Jesus. Can I actually mark something out that far away? I can, you know. No. No, I can't. Okay, well, to, honestly, I don't think I need to, but I want to climb the worm. We're going to climb the worm. There might be something at the top, even if it's just a chum. It's a worthy adventure. I do love these little birds. They make me smile. I'm so happy I upgraded my stamina bar. That might be the best thing we've done in Sable. It allows you to explore so much more. I'd love to get two stamina bars, obviously. But, uh... We need more chums for that, I'm afraid. Right over there. Alright, this is where things get a little bit interesting. Angle-wise. I'm going to go around the side, I think. Get up mighty high now. Oh, God. Oh, God. My car it, it just, Sable just didn't grab. Oh, my God. That, that made my heart jump. Luckily, we saved it. 
might be able to make it all the way up. Just put that up beneath me, just in case we don't. Almost. <laughs> Almost made it. Good thing we took precautions, right. If there is nothing at the top here, I'm going to be a little sad. A little sad. I mean, that's right at the top. It's all the way up there, but let's see if there's anything on there. So many birds. Chum. I see the chum. Hey, what's that over there? Looking at my map, trying to... Also... Is, what is this? <laughs> There's like an oasis. There's also something all the way out there. That I cannot set a marker on because it's too far away. I'm going to put a marker there just to keep it in mind. I think that's one of the racy gate things. That's the official name. Uh, I expected to need to climb this, but I will accept walking awkwardly. Doesn't use stamina, you see. Yes, this is how this was intended to be done. There we go. <laughs> you know I'm jumping off this, right? Whoa, hang on a minute. <laughs> What's that? It's like an observatory. Oh man, things are so much more interesting when you don't get the cartographer's balloon. Why is that over there? So many places I want to visit. Oh no. I mean, the cartographer's balloon makes the most sense. How many markers can I have? Okay, I have a few. Um. <laughs> It's the cartographer's balloon. Or should we check out over there first? Looks like that's a town of some description. Now sometimes I look at this game and I'm like, the art style is so good. Moments like this, I think. I don't see the cartographer's balloon anymore. Oh, it's over there. That's on the way. Okay, let's check out over there. I am jumping off this, by the way, because it's going to be awesome. I hope I haven't missed anything up here, though. Can I get in the mouth of the worm? Hello, hang on a minute. You guys see that? There's treasure. I'm not entirely sure how easy this is going to be to get, but... There's bloody treasure there. Mm, this might have been the one that's too low. We can make it work. It's big treasure. We like big treasure. Hmm? No, it's just 20 kilts. Well, that was disappointing. I mean, don't get me wrong, I'm not going to say no to 20 kilts, but I kind of hoped it was going to be some sort of armor or something. You know, something a little bit more interesting. I'm going to see if I can get in the mouth of the worm. As stupid as that sounds. There might be something in there. And woe be it for me. I miss a piece of content just because I didn't think about jumping in the mouth of a creature. There might be a, there might be a quest or something about this thing. Wait a minute, there's a frippin' lift. Is there a lift? Okay, well, you know, I didn't expect this. Hello, chum. Well, accept the fact that there is a chum here. That is a wonderful thing. And there is also a notebook that I am very interested in reading. What is this? It makes a horrible noise. Blop, blop. Blop, blop. Maybe read it before you jump in the weird pool. I pick up. The worn and weathered pages left in the small encampment. 
Not something I expected to find up here, and far too tempting to ignore. Here I am. You told me to look to, ooh, Pyarusta, when I had lost it all. And here I am, with nothing and no one alone at the end of all my failures. I will sit and think for a while. Perhaps something will come to me. Otherwise, I look to fall. Anna, I know you won't want to hear me, but I have to tell you. Pyrosta spoke to me. In a voice like rolling thunder and late evening shivers, she shook my bones and told me that is more to this than I know, and that I must look inside the statue. I have no way inside, but I will find one. Where I am bidden to go by Pyrusta's whim, there will I walk in her great shadow. Side of the statue. This isn't one of those stand here and wait for something to happen things, is it? Inside the great statue. Like, I assume this is the great statue. But I don't see anything, so I'm going to ignore it for now, I guess. I don't fancy standing here for the next half an hour, I'll be honest. I've already done that once. So let's move on. Kind of forgotten which direction the cartographer's balloon was in. All I know it was bloody obvious when I was looking at it. That way? Yeah. I didn't do a very successful jumping off, did I? Guy dive! Perfect. Oh. Let's bring the bike with me. Let's check out what this thing is over here. Whoop, 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 whoop. Fine. Everything is perfectly fine. I do like the fact that stuff is just hidden about. It's like interesting little things that you can see. Like, I have no reason to go to these places because I don't have missions or anything, but I don't know, they're just interesting. <laughs> A lot of them are self-contained missions, which is very nice. So, like, exploration is, re is rewarded. What is this? I had a hell of an interesting noise, whatever it is. Macho Bone Station. Apparently there's nowhere for me to park my bike, so I'm afraid you're going to have to stay down here. This, pro this probably isn't the official way to get in. Hello? Oh, and no, the official way to get in is that side. Dr. Sula, I'm studying different flora and fauna across Midden at the moment. We can treat a lot of things using old tech, but we need to be more and more careful how we use that stuff. It's not accessible to everyone out in the dunes. It's hard to move, and if you lose power... We're starting to make progress with more local, non-technological remedies, but there's still a lot out there to study. Interesting, so they're trying to use, like, local fauna to fix things rather than ancient tech they don't quite understand. Look mighty familiar. What's going on here? It's Guard Elizabeth. Well, look who's here. My favourite fellow glider. Funnily enough, I was just thinking about you. I was thinking about you too. Were you? Well, sounds like destiny to me, or at least a bit of good fortune, which is frankly good enough. Elizabeth chuckles, hands on hips. I ask her why she was thinking of me. Because I was considering all the things I never got to see on my first gliding. I was in such a hurry to get to Ecria and become a guard that my gliding was more of a piercing, a straight shot to the big city. Before I knew it, I was years along my path, and I'd never seen a koa. Never swam in underground lakes, never figured out what's inside a Nimor plant. Don't think I know either. 
I tell her I don't know what's on the inside of a Nimor plant either. Well, I'd love to find out. I'm sure I must have passed a few of them when I came through the petrified forest, but it was daylight then and the sun makes them close right up. Of course, I might just have been in too much of a rush to really look. Old habits, eh? Anyhow, don't think I'll be making my way back through there anytime soon, sadly, so if you happen to stumble upon one, maybe you could crack it open and let me know what you find. Something's got to be making it glow, right? Something about her drives me to action, and I promise to quickly... Too quickly to show her. I feel compelled to impress her. Just a little. What? You don't need to do that. Oh, what am I saying? I'm retired. I'm gliding, and I want what I want. Open up a Nimor plant and bring me whatever's inside. And here's hoping it isn't some awful, poisoned slime. I bet that's exactly what it is. I say that it probably is filled with deadly poison, and ask if she would like me to forego bring it back to her if it is indeed the case. Elizabeth laughs. Yes, that might be a bit of a letdown. With my marching orders, I say goodbye to Elizabeth and go on my way. Love not to crack. Okay, there's, another, there's a mission. What's in here? Hello. Well, you're having the time of your life, aren't you? This is Ofu, the innkeeper of the camp. What can I do for you? Lydia, I've got a little job you can do for me. What's the job? I need some orange ringed beetles. Three of them. And I figured there's none better to ask than a glider. Our love of tasks is greatly exaggerated. No, I'll say that's true. Really? That's the only part I miss about my gliding. You get to help so many people and learn so many things. The rest of it's just sand in your bits. The gliding. The sand in your bits. I ask where I might find the beetles. There's a nest northeast of here that should have a few, but if you've never collected orange ring beetles before, I'll say this. They're skittish. Second you approach, they'll burrow to get away. You'll want to lure them over to somewhere undiggable. I'll tell her I'll do my best. Okay, orange ring beetle. Do you have a quest for me, sir? Or are you a fluff? A fluff man. My clan has always been in the wash. We rarely venture beyond its borders. They say the chalk mounds were once bones of dead creatures killed by the fall of the whale and left to erode over time. Bit creepy to think about it. But the thing that really gives me the spooks is that, is that petrified forest. You can hardly see your hands in front of your face in there. I have yet to see this petrified forest and I am slightly concerned. Can I make another mask? don't actually knew. While I'm here, I might as well have a look though, right? The atmosphere in the tent is intense, uncomfortable. I can't tell if the mask caster is human or something else. I don't have anything, okay. Worth a look though, right? Okay, how long do I have left? I have like two minutes left of my episode time, but I do think it's in my best interest to go and get the cartographer's balloon before I end the episode, so we shall go and do that. My bike is not going to come to me, is it? I could speak to the... Uh... Actually, yeah, is there a... I can't remember, a machinist around here. There might be a mission for a machinist badge. Even though I think I have all of the machinist badge. Oh, it's a beetle, man. Greetings, Glider. Can I peruse my wares? Let's go. Of course, have a look at my wares. A wash top, wash trousers, nomadic bike front, nomadic bike engine, nomadic bike wing. Interesting. Basically sells a lot of nomadic things. You need any help? Machinists do not startle easily, but this one jumps at my greeting. They give a frantic wave. Glider, yes, good to see you. Meet you. We've never met, I don't think. So yes, good to meet you. I'm Callan. Callan rocks back and forth, ball to heel. 
There is a speedy twitchiness to them, and their words emerge like a too swift rush of wind, picking up little stones and twigs as it washes over the dunes. How's your, um, life going? Things are very exciting. Exciting, good. It's very apparent that Callan barely registered my response. I'd like you to do something, if you're free, or, well, if you're not, but whatever. I'd like you to do something for me. It'll be a little bit fun, I promise, and it'll earn you a machinist's badge. Quick and to the point. See, I know you gliders like that. Speed and things like that. Anyhow, what do you want? Well, I want you to re receive a machinist badge, and for that I'd like you to, well, report on something of me. Think of it like a mission. Isn't that fun? Sort of. Take a breath to speak, but Callan has no time for it. You'll need to use your your head up for this one. I want you to go to the watch and take a reading of the sun. You'll find the equipment a bit, well, you know, outdated, underdesigned, cumbersome, archaic perhaps. Whatever the world, it all still works and that's what's important. Take the reading and if you do it right, the face door in the central chamber should open. Once you've seen what's inside, come back here and tell me about it. Good. I open my mouth for whatever is the shortest period one can open one's mouth and get no room to speak. Perfect. Yes, thank you. And thank me too, because you'll have more than earned a badge. Go on, see you soon. Can't wait to hear about it. Callan waves me off. I say goodbye to Callan. Okay, bloody hell, we're getting a lot of quests, aren't we? Maybe I should worry about the uh, cartographer's post in the next episode, huh? Because we are coming up to the end of the episode, so yeah, I think I will. I'll do the cartographer's post in the next episode, but look at all these interesting things we have to explore. Oh, it's so interesting and cool, and hopefully my, I'll work away again in my bank to me, huh? I've kind of locked it up in the back of this place, but thank you very much for watching. Please like and subscribe. Let me know what you think. Your comments are greatly appreciated, and as always... I'll see you next time.